Have a big old ball and it's Christmas. All right. Man, we're getting close to Christmas now. But I'm doing more test drives all the way till then. And of course, we got this old Impala here. Loving the new wheels. This one's from 1964. And uh, of course, it's got a 402 under the hood. We've got power steering. This one doesn't have power brakes. Looks like upgraded brackets in the front. Aluminum radiator. Okay. Also, a nice set of valve covers on this one now. I love the interior, and white is my favorite color on a car, so I feel like it's going to be a good one. Detailed pictures, financing, and shipping is available at maplemotors.com. Go there, check it out. Be sure to hit subscribe and share. It's about that time. Let's go for a ride. Before we take off, we'll look around the interior and check everything out. Place those bets. You think the horn works? All right, we'll go ahead and start her up. This has got two different ways. You can start it from the key here, or you can push this button over here. Let her warm up a little bit. It's got good oil pressure. The gauges seem to be working. Showing 72,000 miles on the dash. Looks like we got some gas. May stop, get a little bit more. Radio. Christmas music. <laughs> Blower motor. It is blowing. Well, get her warm, come on. So you can see you can start it there as well. Looking around the interior. Pretty clean, package tray. Uh, it's got a little spot there, it can be buttoned up. Headliner in this one. It's wrinkly. I call that a mechanics headliner. Guess why? Because they don't do interior. <laughs> no, for, for real. They didn't need to be stretched out. This looks pretty new. <clears throat> All right, we're going to try some stuff. Wipers? No wipers. The switch feels a little weird. Horn, did you place your bets? We're going to be trying it out. Left turn signal, it's not flashing on the dash, neither is the right, but we'll check the turn signals throughout the test drive. What about that horn, you ready? Nope, not hooked up. All right, let's hit the road. She's starting to warm up now. Okay. We're gonna take off down the road, anything I see, we'll know about it. We've done a few little upgrades to this car here, as you can see the wheels, valve covers. That can be tightened up. Flathead. She's still a little cold. But we'll go ahead and hit the road here. 160 should be good. Idle's a bit low on this one too. I may have to use my screwdriver. May have to break out the kit. Idle it up just a hair. We'll see once it hits 180. This one is working. Steering's got a little bit of slack. It's not much. It's turning there and it's turning there. It feels pretty good. It's also going straight down the road, not pulling to the left or right. Uh, speedo seems to be pretty correct. It's not bad at all. Brakes. You have good brakes. Don't feel bad. Throttle. She's running pretty smooth, guys. We'll stop up here at the gas station, put a little bit of fresh gas in this one.
may not have to uh, adjust that idle at all. She's warm now, sitting at 180, running super smooth. We're gonna run some 93 octane in the tank. And then after this, we'll get some outside shots, some undercarriage shots. Maybe pass by the camera a few times. Check her on out. All right, I'll be back. Okay, well, this one's got $20 too. Same thing, different day. There's her cat, they painted it white. I'm gonna say it works. I don't know why they installed two ignitions. Maybe this is why. <laughs> Check it out, gas gauge works. works pretty good good today got y'all on the camera i'm gonna stick you up here check this out look phone just magically sticks to the window how weird is that <laughs> what that's gonna do is make it to where i could see y'all and this video looks straight i need to tighten this thing up again it's gonna be all right i never idled it up i think it still does need just a touch on that idle but i'm gonna leave it alone right now it's, it's running great To rolling a little bit. I'm gonna angle y'all down just a hair. It looks better. Much, much better. Y'all won't believe this, but I got out of the car over here and was getting ready to do my video. I do the walk arounds, picking out chips and scratches, and a bird crapped on my head and the car at the same time. Isn't that wild? Somebody told me it was good luck. I mean, I guess, yeah, that's the way you gotta look at it. Otherwise, he's gonna get upset about it. <laughs> oh well, it could have been worse, I guess. Look how straight this one is. Smooth.
town's coming back together. Everybody's fixing all the storm damage. I can't believe it, but somebody dumped a roof. All the roofing material, I guess, where they got the tornado hit them. In our property on the back of the lot. I was like, are you serious? Just take it to the dump. Don't dump it on us. People are crazy. Engine temperatures, 180. Oil pressures, 45. And we're just rolling in this sled. A little bump in the road here. Point it out. Nice and smooth. It's okay, you can go. That's where I'm going to. There you go. All right, guys, I'm pulling back into the lot. Be sure to hit subscribe, share this video, and stick around because picking out the flaws is coming up next. lucky guy I think a bird just crapped on my head and the car at the same time I'm pretty sure that's good luck kind of sucks but hey I'll take the luck all right <laughs> let's get to walking around this I wasn't even standing under a power line just dropped out of the sky isn't that crazy oh well starting up here in the front got some little specks here oh they're wiping off must have been from the road or somebody that was in front of me. Little dings in the trim up here. Little specks and stuff. See a little bit more. It's not perfect. Got some dents up here in your trim too. Tell you what, I've had her running for a while. She's She's been running great. Haven't seen any issues with the uh, running and driving aspect. Let's go down the side here. Well, we got perfect light coverage. It's absolute perfect lighting for this video right now. A little thin on the paint. You can see where they've buffed it. That's what they've done. Buffed it down. A little spot here. The bottom here too. Slight bubbles popping up. Got some chips at the bottom, scratches paint runs over here chips over here in the corner little spot there there as well over here that come right off scuff chips Little dings on the trim. Back your midsection. A little bit of stainage. That's coming off though. Pretty clean midsection coming over a little bit higher here. You got some thin spots. Little spot there, a little thin. Here too. Mirror looks good. A little bit of brush popping up. Just on that little swivel piece there. 
trim's pretty clean. Front windshield is clean. A little old glass. You can see how it's kind of spreading there, getting a little white. It's old glass there. But it's in good shape. Slight ding here on your trim. Just these edges are a little thin. I mean, that buffer got it. Looking over the back windshield. We've got a tiny chip here, but it's gonna be all right. Looking over the roof. back here and on the back bumper first a little scuff light little scratches here on this bumper small scuffs dinging your trim there chips in the corner little chips there somebody's definitely repainted everything in the trunk up in our package tray little surface rust but not bad at all same with down in here a little surface rust popping up okay Coming on down with the trunk lid. Ding here. A little dirt in the corner. Chips. Now where is them keys? In my pocket. Little ding in the trim here. Trunk sitting up a little bit. It is shut. Touch up mark there. A little dirt. Coming down this side. Small little spot, little bubbles in the corner. Down at the bottom here too. Chips. Little spot there. Edge there is a little thin. A little scratch in the paint. Spot there under the trim. Here as well. A 
little chips on top of that fender. Little dings. That's the other bird dropping that hit the car instead of my head. <laughs> I can't believe that happened. There's some little chips there. Around the windows, need some new weather stripping. Easy fix. Your mirror's got a crack in it. So does this window. I'll show you here in a second. Hold on. Got a few little stains. Those will come out. I'll probably tell the cleanup guys when I get back to uh, wash her up good. Throw a coat of wax on this one. It's it's the end of the year, so they're winding down. They're eating cookies at the office. <laughs> Door panel on this one. She's clean. But I did notice this window. I'm this window up. Big old crack here. Edge of the door, under the door. Looks pretty good. Carpet's got some stainage. Some fading. Ooh, this trim. That's what we need to do. Stick a screw. Actually, I have my screwdriver here. Put that screw back in and we're good. See the headliner is new, it just needs to be stretched. Uh oh, they're coming to get you. Okay. Door shuts easy. I know what that is. Neutral safety watch. That's why they put that switch in over here, to bypass it. I was wondering why there was two ignitions. You don't necessarily need this one. There's a little neutral safety thing. You just gotta line it up and make sure it's in park so it doesn't start in reverse, drive, etc. She's still idled down pretty low. Can we catch it though? No, can't catch it. I may have to give her a flathead screwdriver tiny little twist let's try it again hey we got it down here it <laughs> started right up give her a rev it should be should be fine there yep
Hit some insulation under the hood. Not a big deal. Hood comes down easy. A little dirt there, it's wiping off. A little thin on the paint on the edge of the hood. Chips there. That'll come off. Again, that's the other portion of the bird droppings. The bird crap. <laughs> Hi. I'm gonna say it's good look. I don't know what y'all think about it. But if you take it any other way, then you're probably just going to get upset. It'll be all right. Detail pictures, financing, and shipping at maplemotors.com. Go check it out. Also, pick up some merchandise. we got some t-shirts for sale. And I hope you all have a Merry Christmas. It's going to be like one of the last test drive videos. I think I've got, what, two or three more before the, uh, the break that we're going to have, the Christmas break. I do appreciate y'all this year watching all these videos and helping me out, sharing, liking, commenting. Got plenty to do for the new year. All right. Again, if you want to know more about this one, give me a call. 615-822-4444. Thanks again, guys. I'll see you later.